actually, before I do that, let me stock up on Pokeballs. Okay, welcome to the Pokemon Mansion. This place is rather interesting, to say for the least. Uh, right off the bat here, we have our new, we have ourselves a new Pokemon. Uh, this Pokemon is a version exclusive Pokemon, so uh, if you're playing Let's Go Eevee, you'll find a Coughing. Uh, Coughing is it has really good uh, physical and special defense. Uh, so if you want a so if you're looking for a tanky Pokemon to use on your team, then Coughing is the deal is the is the deal right there. Um, uh, if you're playing Let's Go Pikachu instead, you will be finding a Grimer. Um, and, um, and then, uh, you can also find their evolve form in this game, uh, in here as well. So you can find that, you can find Copping's evolution, uh, Weezing in Let's Go Eevee, and then if you're playing Let's Go Pikachu, uh, you'll find, um, it's, uh, Grimer's evolve form, Muck, uh, which Muck is basically a, a piece of crap. Um, that's all I gotta say about, uh, that's all I gotta say about that. Uh, same with Weezing. Weezing's a piece of crap as well. Um, mainly because I don't prefer using... Um, uh, mainly because I don't prefer using defensive Pokemon. Uh, so there's quite a bit to explore here in the Pokemon Mansion. Ooh, okay, so here's another new Pokemon that you can find here. This is a Magmar. Um, Magmar is a really, really good fire type. Um, so it has really strong attack stats. Um, if you're if, if you're into looking for a very good fire type to use, if you have not have if you have not obtained a fire type at this point in the game, um, so um, highly recommended. All right, um, let's see. Um, and then there's one more new Pokemon that you could find here. Well, technically two uh, because I haven't shown off uh, Weezing yet. Uh, but, um, yeah, Weezing's pretty tough to find if you're going to try your best to look for a Weezing, so I'm not going to really bother with that. Alright, um, so you get, so the gimmick of this dungeon is that there's, uh, those little statues. If you, uh, go ahead and press, there's a switch on the statues. If you go ahead and press on them, then, um, it, uh, it changes the positioning of the doors so that you can, uh, access other places. Uh, so if, uh, by hitting that switch, you can access that item right there. I forgot, I already forgot what I, what I just got. Uh, so, if you, as you can see right here, if you go this way, I believe, no, it is not this way, okay, but, but one, but one of the, uh, doors would be, uh, locked up if you, if I hit that, if I hit that, uh, switch, um, so, that means, uh, one of the places is blocked off, uh, and this only affects that, this floor only, so if you go ahead and head up, to, head up the stairs here, um, there's quite a bit of things to see here in, in, in this set of stairs. And including a new trainer class that, that you can see right here. This is a Burglar. Uh, burglars mostly use Fire-type Pokemon. Oh my god, that Magmar was chasing after me. Oh, that was not a good thing. <laughs> oh man. It's so funny whenever, like, you see the Pokemon, they, like, just move really fast for, like, no reason. Then you try and get away from them, and then they just outspeed you. Alright. Uh, so there was some, uh, there were some Ultra Balls over there. Um, and then, um... You can access this room over here, which is uh, progression. So I'm not gonna explore that. Uh, I'm not gonna explore that up there yet. It's a journal over here. Diary, July 5th. We discovered a new Pokemon deep in the jungle. Okay, that's it. All right, interesting. Uh, but over here, you can get yourself a Max Revive, which uh, fully revives your Pokemon, not just in full HP. Which is nice. Um, and then you can actually go up here, and this is actually an optional floor they can head up to. And uh, let's see, what we got here Diary for February 6th. We obtained a new Pokemon from Mew. Uh, we have named this new Pokemon Mew 2. Because isn't that creative? Whoa, you can see me? Okay, interesting. I know, it's like huge. Now I call bull 
bullcrap on that nonsense right there. Uh, but over here, you can hear some of a rare candy. And did I just hear something? That is a Chansey! Okay, you can also find Chanseys here. Um, yeah. Um, we already caught ourselves a Chansey, so we're not gonna go ahead and catch ourselves one again. Alright. Uh, go ahead and hit this soul. Go ahead and hit the switch over here. Uh, back in uh, Pokemon Generation One, if you hit a, if you hit one of the switches, uh, the switch uh, the uh, description of the of the switch would just say who wouldn't, which is funny. Uh, July tenth, we chris we christened the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. Okay, so they're giving us a little uh, hints on uh, the this little Pokemon you hear named, known as Mew. And also a little bit of uh, Mew too. Um, hmm. I wonder who that is. I don't think I've ever heard of such a name named Mew too before. Must be a make. Must be a make believe. All right. So that's all you can see right here. So we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, oh man. Um. This place is like one of those places that I get lost in a lot. At least in the first generation, I get I would get lost in this place a lot. All right, uh, time to put rocks up front uh, because coming up here we have a coach trainer. Apparently, we've been mistaken for a burglar. So let's have some fun. <laughs> Get TM22 for Rock Slide. Um, yeah, that's a very useful move in a double battle. Uh, you could also cause us flinch, I believe, unless I'm thinking of a, a, of a different rock type move. All right, so anyway, go ahead and head up the stairs here, and we have some more stuff. Starting off with this item. And this item contains a full heal. And let's see, what else we got going on here? We have uh, more stuff over here. We got TM21 for foul play. Uh, this dark type, which is a uh, dark type move. Um, looks like Alicia can learn that as well as Matt. I'll think about it though, because I actually like foul play. Alright, um. Not much else here, so I guess we can hit the switch. You heard the sound of something moving somewhere. It's like, not like I saw this move, didn't I? Oh! 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 Oh, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. I want I want you. I want you. I want you. Yes, I know. I want a Weezing. Um, so, Weezing's another po So, like I said, Weezing's another Pokemon you can find here. Uh, Weezing is, of course, the evolved form of coughing. Uh, pretty uh, rare chance of finding a Weezing. Not terribly rare, like 1%. Uh, and this Pokemon is exclusive to Let's Go Eevee only. Uh, on the other hand, if you are playing Let's Go Pikachu, you'll instead find a Mach. Alright, so after hitting that switch again, uh, we're going to head down this way. You know, sometimes I think Pokemon are very stubborn. Whenever I try my very best to catch them. And we have the return of scientists.
yourself an X accuracy. And then there's still a little bit more stuff here. A wheezing if you want to get that. There's still one more Pokemon to show off here. Um, it's actually a pretty rare Pokemon if you're, at if you're trying to find it. Uh, but over here you can get yourself a Hyper Potion. Very nice. And then a Trainer. I think we're going to help each other get stronger. That is that floor done. And now, back in Generation 1, um, there, this was a pretty hard part to figure out because, uh, um, you know, there would be like two parts over here. One part will take you to a pit, the other part will just warp you out of the dungeon. Um, but uh, in this game, this time around, there's a little ladder where um, you're not falling down. But you're instead um, uh, climbing down to this floor right here. In uh, in th in the old in the original game, if you fall down here, you cannot fall you cannot go back up, uh, which is extremely unfortunate. Uh, but uh, thankfully, they allow you to do that, which is nice. There shouldn't be anyone here. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No! Oh my god. That's crazy. That's crazy! That was crazy. Alright, uh, over here. Uh, trust me, don't take that teleporter. Because you'll go all the way back, and that means you have to start the whole dungeon all over again if you start all the way back, and that's not fun. All right, and this is the last floor here, and um, uh, this is um, where we're going to get all the important stuff, I bet. Mewtwo is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious t tendencies. All right, and the final Pokemon they could find here in this in this place is Ditto. Um, Ditto is extremely hard to catch, um, and it's also a pre-order Pokemon we could find here. Um, let's see, the other thing about, about Ditto, uh, what's interesting about Ditto is that um, uh, its main move is Transform, uh, and with Transform, you can transform into basically any Pokemon um, uh, in battle. Um, and uh, not only do you, tra do you transform into your opponent's Pokemon, but you will also uh, t take their abilities and their move sets, uh, so you could pretty much do a bunch of really crazy things. I am out of I am out of Ultra Balls. That's not good. Uh, that means this Ditto is most likely going to run away from me. Okay, can I please catch this thing? I call bull crap on that. If you're gonna run away from me, please at least just run away right away instead of me spending like 50 Pokeballs on you before and then decide to run away. Like, that's Honestly, the, I really hate that. Like seriously, like this is literally my least favorite part of this game, is the fact that you don't even battle with the Pokemon in, in, for wild Pokemon. You just initiate a, you just like, all you do is catch them instead of just weakening them to increase your chance of like 
catching the Pokemon. It makes training your Pokemon in this game not very fun at all. And it's and it sucks that it's the only complaint about that I've had in this game, like ever. Um, everything else in this game is just is good. Like really amazing. But this is just the most disappointing wild Pokemon system I've ever experienced in a Pokemon game. trainer of this place and so uh, over here you can get yourself a rare candy and it looks like we need to hit that switch over there so we are going to go ahead and do that it's a lot of raditas and radicates and a bunch of other different stuff um, that looks like something that's pretty cool. A large container made of thick glass. It looks as if something has been beaten, uh, beating on it over and over from the inside. This must be the little research of the thing, or that must be where they did uh, research work on the little uh, so-called Mewtwo that they're talking about. I have no idea who this Pokemon is. I've never heard of it before. But, uh, that's basically everything now. We got the secret key, so we can make our way out. Um, and if, uh, well, I, can, I guess I can show, I, can, I guess I can show the way out, just for the sake of people watching this for entertainment purposes and not just to watch this to know how to beat the game. There's a lot of Pokemon here. But uh, go ahead and use this teleporter, and we're out. And that's where this will take you. Alright, and with that, uh, that is basically it. So next time on Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, we are going to take on the gym of Cinnabar Island. So, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!